Hello, Mighty Companions. This is Earl Raj Purdy. And today I'm going to do A Course in Miracles lesson with you number 275. A Course in Miracles lesson number 275, which is God's Healing Voice Protects All Things Today. God's Healing Voice Protects All Things Today. The Healing Voice for God Protects All Things Today. God's Healing Voice Protects All Things Today. God's healing voice protects all things today. So everything in your life is being protected by the voice for God. Everything in your life, all things today, are protected by God's voice. God's voice is the voice of love. So all things are being protected by the voice for love today. All things in your life are being protected by the voice for love today. God's healing voice. Now, the Course in Miracles defines healing as undoing of fear. So the voice of God that undoes fear protects all things today. So, let us today attend the voice for God. Now, let me go over this with you. Now, what does it mean to attend the voice for God? Well, first of all, when you attend the voice for God, it means you are attending a voice that speaks an ancient old lesson. Uh, a lesson that's no more true today than any other day. That means that lesson is true every day. The lesson we're going to learn today is true every day. Yet, has this day been chosen as the time when we will speak... Yet has this day been chosen as the time when we will seek and hear and learn and understand. So this is the day. This is a really important day. This is the day that's been chosen that you're going to seek the truth, hear the truth, learn the truth, and understand the truth. This is the day that has been chosen for you to seek the truth, hear the truth, learn the truth, and understand the truth. Join me in hearing. Join me in hearing. Stop a minute. Whatever you're doing, even if your mind is drifting out, stop. Listen. Listen to me. Join me in hearing. Join me in hearing. For the voice for God tells us of things we cannot understand alone nor learn of heart. So do you know that God's voice, the voice for God, which the Course calls the Holy Spirit, is the voice for God, the voice for truth, is telling us that we're going to learn some things today that we cannot learn on our own, that we cannot understand on, my, on, on our own. So, so, so there are some things that you cannot learn on your own. There are some things that you cannot learn apart from everyone else. And the voice of God is speaking to us about things we can't understand alone nor learn apart. So it is in this that all things are protected it and in this the healing of the voice for God is found in this. So your healing voice God protects all things today. Your healing voice, God, protects all things today. And so I leave all things to you. I leave all things to you. You leave all things to God today. I don't care what you think you're going through. You're going to leave all, th you're going to leave all things to God today. You're going to leave all things to God today. And if you do that, you will find that you need be anxious. You need be anxious over nothing. I need be anxious over nothing. You don't need to be anxious about anything today. You don't need to feel anxious about anything today. For God's voice will tell you what to do and where to go, to whom to speak, and what to say to them, what thoughts to think, and what words to give the world. So the Holy Spirit, the voice for God, is going to tell me what to do. The voice for God is going to tell me where to go. The voice for God is going to tell me who to speak to, what to say to them, what thoughts to think, what words to give. So today, God's voice will tell you what to do. God will tell you where to go. God, the, the Creator, will tell you to whom to speak. The Creator will tell you what to say to them. The Creator will tell you what thoughts to think. The Creator will tell you what words to give the world. The safety that I bring is given me. The safety that you bring is given to you. The safety that you bring is given to you. The safety that you bring is given to you. Father, your voice protects all things through me. Father, your voice protects all things through me. God, your voice protects all things through me. God, your voice protects all things through me. God's healing voice protects all things today. God's healing voice protects all things today. God's healing voice protects, protects, protects all things today. God's healing voice, the healing voice of love, protects everything today. The healing voice of the Creator protects everything today. Everything, everything is protected today. Everything is protected today. God's healing voice protects all things today. God's healing voice protects all things today. This is Earl Purdy. Check me out at www.earlpurdy.com. have lots of videos and audios of my classes. And let peace extend from my mind and my heart to yours. Hello, mighty, Hello, mighty companions. We're going to do 
review theme num number six, which is what is the Christ? What is the Christ? That one word can be such a trigger for so many people. What is the Christ? Well, when the Course in Miracles says Christ, do you know that it's talking about <clears throat> God's Son, God's creation, as God created him? Uh, do you know that the Christ is the self we share? Unite, uniting us with one another and with God as well. So, so the Christ just really means the one self we share that share that connects us all with love. Christ is the thought. So, from a Course in Miracles perspective, Christ is the thought which still abides within the mind that is His source. Christ has not left His holy, healing, innocent home, nor lost the innocence in which Christ was created. The Christ is you. God's creation as God created it. So you, the creation of God as God created you, the Christ, have not left your holy innocence at home, nor lost the innocence in which you were created. In other words, the Christ, the real self in you, still remains and abides unchanged forever in the mind of God. Christ, do you know that Christ is the link? that keeps you one with God and guarantees that separation is no more than an illusion of despair, for hope forever will abide in Christ. Do you know that your mind is part of the Christ and the Christ mind is part of yours? The Christ, when you hear that term from the Course, the Christ is the part in which God's answer lies, where all decisions are already made and dreams are over. Christ, the real self, within you, remains untouched by anything your body's eyes perceive. For though in Christ, his Father placed the means for your salvation, which is your right-mindedness and your healing, yet Christ does remain the self who, like his Father, knows no sin. So your real self knows no sin. Your real self has no sin. Do you know that home of the Holy Spirit and at home in God alone does Christ remain at peace? Christ remains at peace within the heaven, which is the reality of your holy, healed, innocent mind. So Christ remains at peace within the love in your loving mind. The Christ, the real self, the loving self, the innocent self, the sinless self. Do you know that this is the only part of you that has reality and truth? The only part of you that has reality and truth is your real self, the Christ, the part of you that knows no sin, that has never sinned? Do you know that the Holy Spirit, do you know that the home of the Holy Spirit is the Christ? And at home in God alone does Christ remain at peace within the heaven of your holy mind. The Christ is the only part of you that has reality in truth. The rest is dreams. Yet will these dreams, these dreams of fear, these dreams of being separate, these dreams of being a body, will be given unto Christ, your real self, to fade before his glory and reveal your holy self, your innocent self, the Christ to you at last. The Christ is your innocent self. The Christ is your innocent self. The Christ is your innocent self. For when forgiveness, for when, do you know that um, the Holy Spirit is reaching from the Christ in you to all your dreams and bids them come to him to be translated into truth. Christ will exchange your dreams of fear for the final dream which God appointed as the end of dreams. For when forgiveness, when correct perception rests upon the world and peace has come to every child of God, what could there be to keep things separate when forgiveness rests upon the world and peace has come to every son of God? What could there be to keep things separate for what remains to see? except Christ's face. And how long would this holy face be seen? How long would this holy face be seen? And when is it but the symbol that the time for learning now is over, the time for learning now is over, the time for learning now is over, and the goal of atonement has been reached at last. The goal of atonement has been reached at last. As we behold Christ's glory, will we know that we have no need of learning, we have no need of learning, we have no need of learning, we have no need of perception, we have no need of time, we have no need of anything except the holy self, the innocent self.
the Christ whom God created as his son. So what is the Christ? Ask yourself, what is the Christ? Well, the Christ is nothing but you. You the way you were created by love. You the way you were created by love. Your real self connected to the, connected to the love that created you. The love that created you is God. And that extension of the love that is you is the Christ. So the Christ is your real self, your eternal self, your powerful self, your loving self. What is the Christ? That is the Christ. Yes.